Okay, let's start. Has any questions about chapter four, section three, which is harmonics? Uh, remember, harmonics are about the sound produced by musical instruments, like string instruments or pipes. Uh, we'll answer these questions right now. The first question is the lowest frequency of vibration of a standing wave is called lowest frequency is known as fundamental frequency. And also it is the frequency of the first harmonic. So answer is going to be A. Question number two. The second harmonic of a guitar string has the frequency of 165. Second harmonic means F2. F2 is 165 hertz. If the speed of the waves on the string is 120 meters per second, so V speed of the wave on the string, what is the string length? String length is the question. So uh, we can get that uh, frequ fundamental frequency uh, or second in the second harmonic, in fact, in the second harmonic. We know that uh, the length of the string is equal to wavelength in the second harmonic. If I draw the second harmonic, it's going to be like this. So this is the second harmonic. The length of the string, which is L, is equal to wavelength of the wave, which means if you calculate the wavelength, in fact, you will calculate what is the string length. Let's get calculate the wavelength. We will use the usual uh, uh, speed equation for the waves, which is equal to V is equal to lambda times F. So lambda is going to be V divided by F, speed divided by F. Speed is 120. Frequency of the second harmonic is 165. So this, re this division will give us the wavelength of the uh, Wave also equals to length of the string. 120 divided by 120 divided by 165, which is equal to 0 0.73 meters. So this is the length of the string, also is equal to wavelength of the wave, which produces the second harmonic. Question number three. A standing wave is produced in a string uh, vibrating between two fixed points. The third harmonic of the string has a fundament, has a frequency of 575 hertz, and the speed of the wave on the string is this. What is the wavelength of the wave? Again, the same question. In the previous one, they asked about the length of the string for the second harmonic, which is equal to wavelength. In the third one, they ask about the only the wavelength. So we know what the frequency of the third harmonic is. We know what speed of the wave is. What is the wavelength of the wave? Yani lambda 3 is the question asked. Yani wavelength of the wave which produces the third harmonic is the question here. Again, we will use the same equation. V is equal to uh, F times lambda. So F3 times lambda 3 is going to be the, in here the speed. So then lambda 3 which produces the third harmonic is going to be V divided by F3. So V is e equal to 345 divided by F3, 575. You are going to calculate the frequency as, let's do it, 345 divided by 575, it's called 0.6. 0 0.6 meters is the wavelength of the wave. And question number four, an organ pipe that is closed at one end is 0.2 meter long. It's the length of the pipe. What is the speed of the sound in the pipe? If, pardon, when is the speed of the sound in the pipe is 352 meter per second, which is the speed of the wave inside the pipe. Calculate the fundamental frequency. F1 is the question. It is closed at one end pipe. And then we know that closed at one end pipe has a fundamental frequency equation V divided by 4L. V divided by 4L. V is 352 divided by 4L, 4 times 0 0.2. So this will give us the fundamental frequency, F1. 352 divided by 
0.8, 440 hertz. Fundamental frequency of this pipe is 440 hertz. And question number five. The frequency, fundamental frequency of an organ pipe corresponds to, an open, open organ pipe corresponds to uh, middle C. Uh, third harmonic of another organ pipe, but that is closed at one end, has the same frequency. And two organ pipes there are, one of them is open, both ends, open, or pipe. Other one is closed at one end, pipe, closed at one end. So their frequencies are equal. Which frequency is fundamental frequency of open organ pipe and third harmonic of closed at one end pipe are equal. We will make them equal. So let's write it. For open both ends by fundamental frequency equations, V divided by 2L. 2L open because their lengths are different. Compare the lengths of these two pipes, it's asking that's why we will write lengths different. L open for open organ pipe. But third harmonic of the closet one by three times fundamental frequency V divided by, we know that fundamental frequency for closed at one end pipe is equations not V divided by 2L, it's V divided by 4L. 4L closed. Because both are in the same medium, so these are equal, simplify these. Cross product, cross product, you can continue by cross product, or you can simplify first after cross product and to just simplify this two and this four, get it two. This means, this means, uh, now cross product, now cross product, uh, three times L open, is equal to is equal to two times L closed. So two times L closed is equal to three times L open. Uh, divide by two. Divide by two. So which means one point five times L open is equal to L closed. So 1.5 times L open is equal to L close, which is A, is the uh, answer for this question. And question number six. A pipe that is open at one end, which means one end is open, one end is closed. This fundamental frequency is 70 hertz, F1. What is frequency of the next harmonic? So closed at one end, or open only at one end, only odd harmonics are present. So next harmonic is going to be F3. One, three, five, seven, there is no F2. So we know that F3 is equal to three times F1. Three times F1, F1 is 70. So 210 hertz is the frequency of the next harmonic. Uh, question seven is very similar to the question five, but I will do it again. Question seven. If it's same thing, everything is the same. Uh, fundamental frequency of open organ pipe corresponds to middle C is equal to third harmonic of another organ pipe closed at one end, the same frequency, they have same compared their lengths. In fact, these two questions are exactly the same. So what, what is the logic? So F1 for open end pipe is equal to F3 for closed at one end pipe. And then F1 is V divided by 2L open for open end pipe. Fundamental frequency equation is this, but for closed at one end pipe, third time we will have the same frequency according to the question. V divided by equation for fundamental frequency super closed at one end pipe is four L closed. Again, we will make the simplification. We will simplify this two and this four simplify it will be two and cross product after that cross product. So according to this cross product, three times L open 
is equal to two times L closed. So compare the length of these two pipes means divide that by two, divide by, by two. So which means their lengths 1.5 times L open is equal to L closed. If we divide them one another, we will get 1.5 as we see, or one over 1.5, but one over 1.5 is not giving the choices because compare the lengths, they don't ask, or divide close to open or divide L open by close. It's not as I said in the question. That's why we'll calculate one of them. So 1.5 is the L close over L open, it exists, but L open over L close, which is one over 1.5 is not exist. Let's write one over 1.5, one over 1.5, it is equal to 0.66. There is no 0.66, that's why your answer is going to be 1.5. And what is the fundamental frequency of 0.2 meter long organ pipe that is closed at one end? So L is given. So close at one end, close at one end means uh, F fundamental frequency equation is V divided by 4L. V is given as when the speed of the sound in the pipe is 342 meters per second. So let's calculate it. 2452 divided by 4 multiplied by 0 0.2. So 342. 52, 352 divided by 4 multiplied by 0 0.2, it's equal to 440 hertz. Hey, I think one of the questions answered was also like, maybe they are the same. Question 444. Yeah, yeah. Four and eight are the same questions, yeah. Calculate fundamental frequency, calculate, yeah, they are equal. Same questions asked twice, once in 2012, next in 2016. Question number nine. A pipe that is open at both ends has fundamental frequency F1, and length of the pipe is L, 2.45 meters. What is the sound speed in the air? This time speed of sound is asked. You are, you are going to use the equation of fundamental frequency F1 is equal to, uh, we divided by 2L for board at open pipes, cross product v is going to be F1 multiplied by 2L. So V is equal to F1 is 70, 2 multiplied by L 2.45. So 70 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2.45, which is equal to 343 meter per second. See is this. And question number 10. One of the following is correct for to find the harmonic series for standing waves. A pipe open at both ends. Open at both ends. Fundamental frequency equation is and uh, harmonic series equation is the V divided by 2L multiplied by N. And question number 11, if you blow across the, the open end of a soda bottle and produce a tone of 250 hertz, so soda bottle, one end is open, one end, of course, one and open pipe, it's similar to a one and open pipe, and this is the producer tone F1, which is equal to 250, what it will be, the frequency of the next time if you blow is much harder. So calculate F3 because the, it's like a, a one end closed pipe, so the bottle. So next harmonic is F3, because there is there is there are no even harmonics. Two, four, six does, does not exist, do not exist. One, three, five, seven exists. So after one, of course, three. Three times F1. So three times 250, which is going to be 750 hertz. 750 hertz. And question 12. For a pipe closed at one end, closed at one end, so L is 1.5, is what is F3? Closed at one end, you know, equation is V divided by 4L. For third harmonic, and this is equal to three. So we will write the given and then calculate F3. 
three times. P is 325 divided by 4L, 4 multiplied by 1.5. Let's calculate it. 3 multiplied by 325 divided by bracket 4 times divided by bracket 4 times 1.5 close the bracket 167.5 hertz so it is a and should the following represents the harmonic series of the standing waves of a pipe closed at one end for closed end and remember only all the harmonics are present one three five and seven so it's going to be b two pipes one of them is open at both ends and the other is closed at one end the lengths of two pipes are equal the fundamental frequency of the column in the pipe closed at one end blah blah is blah blah the fundamental frequency of the open at both ends okay let's calculate it Two, we have two pipes again. One of them is board at open end and closed end. So all fundamental frequency of the air column closed at one end. One of them is closed end. Let me write closed in here and open in here. They have the same length. Lengths are equal. Because they are in the same medium, their speed of the waves in this pipe also equal. So in this case, a closed end and their fundamental frequencies comparison of the comp fundamental frequencies for closed at one end pipe f one closed f closed let me write like this is v divided by 4l but for open it is v divided by 2l so which means uh, normally Closed at one end pipe, they will have half of the frequency of open. So open V divided by 2L, closes V divided by 4L, which means you should divide this once again, two to get that. And closed end at one end pipe will have half the frequency of the open at board end pipe. Half. It's going to be half. But you, if you want to mathematically, you can do that. Just divide them, okay? So F closed over. F closed over F open will give you the answer. Closed V divided by 2F, 4L divided by V divided by 2L. So V will simplify as will simplify. It's going to be 1 over 4 times 2 over 1. It's going to be 1 over 2 itself. It's going to be half. And uh, Last title is about the timber. A few questions we have in here, only two questions, ministry exam question. Which of the following are different for a trumpet, a banjo, when they place notes, play notes at the same fundamental frequency. Yeah, I mean, frequencies are equal. F1 for trumpet and F1 for banjo, they have the same fundamental frequency. So if frequencies are the same, wavelengths in A of the first harmonic also must be equal to zero according, according to equation V is equal to lambda times F because V is constant in the air for both uh, sound coming from trumpet and banjo. And even the fundamental frequencies are equal, wavelengths also must be equal at fundamental frequency. These are equal, which are different in this question. This is the same. Intensity of each harmonic, which harmonic presence. So this is representing the Timber. This is giving the sound quality. For none of the instruments, they are the same. Yeah, and which harmonics are present? Different. Even intensity of each harmonic is different. So that's why both B and C will be answered for this question. The timber that produces by the mixture of harmonic of different intensity is known as sound quality. Another name of timber is sound quality. And this answer is. This is all about the Mr. Exam questions about chapter four, section three, um, the harmonics and timber.